What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know what? I'm, I'm trying not to let the Cowboys ruin it for me right now, okay? You know, I'm just I'm going to take it with a grain of salt because we still the boys doing the same old thing. It's amazing because I got people that are coming at me and they want their pound of, no, actually they want two pounds. No, you know what? They want 10 pounds of flesh uh, easily, at least. They want, people just want to want to hit something, break a TV, you know, just they're just mad as hell. And I, I get that because I'm mad as hell too. Because, you know, we them boys that do all that talking. We them boys that, that always talk in some shit about what we going to do. Especially from the top down. Jerry Jones, sorry buddy, you look like a fool. You said that you felt great about our offense. You know, you know, I feel really good about how where our offense is right now. And you know, this game is gonna be a barometer for where we're at with the San Francisco 49ers. You know, they're one of them teams that's gonna be challenging for a Super Bowl, and we're right there. We're right there. Worst loss. Worst loss we've had in forever, ever. Worst loss. We do so much talking and boasting and everything else. You know, I've always been, and I realize I've gotten out of it because, you know, Micah Parsons, you know, he's special. He's special. But when you put yourself out there on Front Street, when you start talking and doing a whole bunch of, and, and I found myself guilty of it too with the shirts. When you say things out there like that, that, you know, I feel good about where we are as an offense and we're just, no, we're not. We're just not. That's not to say we can't be. I'm, I'm going to try and be positive because there's 17 games, okay? And if you go out there and take care of business, you know, in eight, say eight of the 12, you're right there with a chance, okay? So, it, you know, for everybody who's out there jumping off the bandwagon, I'm not jumping off the bandwagon. I am still believing in the Cowboys that they can right the ship, okay? I believe they can right the ship, all right? Let me let me stay, stay right there, okay? You know, it's like I have been married... 20 years to the same woman. I love that woman to death. She is my ride or die and resurrect chick because, you know, she die and she'll come back and make sure that she look out for her man. And we have an incredible bond. I don't want nobody, nobody else, nobody. But understand, it doesn't mean I like every aspect and thing that she does. And I can guarantee you, she feels the same way, okay? Because see, if I croak on her, I can see her kicking my ass and saying, why the hell you leaving me? And I can guarantee you, that's a lot of things. A lot of things that, that, that I do that piss her off, that she don't like, that she wishes she could change, okay? And that's true in every relationship, and that is this one with the Dallas Cowboys. You know, I love the colors. I love the star. I love the stadium. I love the players. I love Sunday. But damn it, I'm tired of losing. Damn it, I'm tired of listening to Jerry Jones on Monday and Tuesdays and Stephen Jones talking to me, you know, cat boy and everything else and half-ass doing stuff and selling us a crock of shit. Getting us to believe 
and forgetting about all the other past failures that we've had. This shit goes back to Jerry Jones and his damn ego and the curse. I'm telling you, this is the curse of Jimmy Johnson. And in the same way, I can't remember the guy's name, the quarterback for the Detroit Lions, who put like a 50, Lane something, who put a 50-year curse on the Lions, and it seemed like it's turned into like 70 years. I feel like Jerry Jones and this whole vendetta that he has against Jimmy Johnson is the reason why we always have these agonizing losses. See, it's not enough to just lose, okay? When we fail, it's an epic proportion that leaves that bad taste in your mouth. You know what I'm saying? You didn't ate some bad seafood. You, you, you took a bite. Oh, God, no. And, and you drink, you try it. Oh, you spit it out. You keep trying to wash your mouth out, but it's just that. Oh. That's what Jerry's done to us. That's what those games are like. When you looked so inept like we did yesterday, when you lose games to San Francisco where Zeke Elliott is the center getting blasted or Dak Prescott is, is sliding and you watch the clock run out or Randy Gregory tackling an offensive lineman and getting a penalty or you see the catch no catch or Aaron freaking Rodgers where you know one of the offensive linemen was holding in there making an incredible play after you scored a touchdown to get you in the game and you lose you get the catch no catch where you ah oh, we got it yes and oh sorry we're just going to take that away. You were so close. Or Tony Romo with the bobble snap in Seattle. That these are just beyond just a loss. These things are somebody sticking the knife into the back and saying, wait the F up, Jerry. Until you do right by Jimmy. All of these teams are going to fail. That's what this shit is. Jerry, you'd have tried everything else. You'd have tried everything else. Try fixing your karma. Just maybe, just maybe, they'll smile down upon you. Yeah. That game was a barometer of where we are. It doesn't matter who we have as players. That We've had great players. We've had good coaches. But Jerry... Karma is kicking you in the ass. And I'm tired of hearing we them boys and how good we are. It is time that talk is over. Y'all need to show that you're a good team. You need to go out there. Forget this, you know, well, you know, we're I, it, Micah Parsons, you know, well, I feel we're the same on the same. No, you're not. You you show me. Don't tell me. Show me you're on the same level. Because you're not. You're not playing. If you feel that you have as much talent, then y'all wasting that shit. Yeah, Jerry. It was a barometer, all right. And what it shows is we failing.